Interesting123. Hello, my name's Darcy and I have a few questions about your book, I Spy. My first question was, if you could go back in time, what advice would you give your younger self about becoming an author? So the advice I'd give to my younger self about becoming an author is to read a lot, which sounds obvious, but the more you read, the better you are at writing. Uh, all good writing is rewriting and all good writing is reading, but not just the books that are easy, maybe books that challenge you. And I used to carry a notebook and a pencil absolutely everywhere with me, I still do, so that if you get struck by lightning and a good idea, you can jot it down so you won't forget it. My next question is, why did you choose the 1940s as the era to set your book in? I didn't really choose the 1940s as the setting for the book. It rather chose me um, because uh, I Spy, my book, is inspired by my great aunt, Audrey, who was at Bletchley Park. I knew that my setting was going to be somewhere between 1939 and 1945. So I Spy opens in 1939 in September and it follows uh, Robin, Ned and Mary's journey through 1939 into the early 1940s and the war is just so rich in terms of storytelling there are so many different opportunities and Bletchley is the perfect place to set a story. Can you tell us a little more about Robin? Robin is a very strong character she knows her own mind and she's more of a leader than a follower she uh, has a very secure world. She lives with her mum and dad at Bletchley, as she always has done. And her world is turned on its head when Bletchley Park becomes the home for the Foreign Office and for the people who uh, eventually start code-breaking at Bletchley. Um, Robin's no longer allowed to go to school and she's forced to stay in this world heavily populated by adults. Um, some of the adults don't believe that children should be at Bletchley Park, but obviously this is where she lives. She has no choice. And Robin is able to stand her ground and not let these adults... Um, break her spirit, which one adult in particular tries to. Robin turns to the natural world. Uh, that's very much her salvation. She loves animals. She loves rowing on her boat at the lake. Um, and even when some of these pursuits are curtailed because of the war, she finds a way to um, secretly do the things she wants to do. Will we meet Robin again in another book? I'm not actually allowed to tell you if we're going to meet Robin again. Um, so we'll imagine I've signed the Official Secrets Act with my publisher and I can't reveal any more at this point. My fifth question is, some of the rations people ate during the war do not sound very tasty. What would be the worst ever flavour you can think of for a ration? The kind of food that I would have hated to have eaten in the war is mashed potato on toast. I can't think of anything more bland. There would have been no ketchup. Maybe you might have had salt or pepper, but if I were eating that for my tea, I'd be really disappointed. Thank you very much for taking the time to answer my questions. Is that a wrap? Okay, Darcy out. Bye.